CataractCoach.com. When did the posterior capsule rupture? Let's watch carefully and see if we can figure out what happened. Now, we have a very experienced surgeon who's operating. There's the cataract, posterior subcapsule, everything looks clean and normal. Here's the rexus. The rexus is good. That went fine. Let's speed ahead of the hydro dissection. Nucleus rotates beautifully. No issue at all here. Now let's get the phaco probe in. We obviously sped up the video to be efficient. And let's see, cleaning up anterior cortical material. Again, you know it's going to be a big break. You tell me when. Buzzing in with the phaco probe. Here comes a chopper, like a combo chopper, vertical chop. Beautifully done. And look at the chopper tip. Not too long. It's a reasonable chopper. That's not going to poke the capsule, right? Buzzing in again. Another chop in the quadrants for that first half. So a very skilled surgeon, beautiful chop technique, and another set of quadrants. Now you got four quadrants, all you got to do is remove them, right? Routine case, bring that first piece up. Again, a little sub-chop if you want to, and rotate it if you need to. Get that piece up, nice and easy. And so, again, we've sped the video up just to show you everything. Going in again, another sub-chop, so now that quarter became uh, two smaller pieces. That looks good, aspirating it down very quickly and very easily, and then rotating. So let's, everything looks fine so far. I don't see any issues at all. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Here's another quadrant left. Okay, came out of the eye. So more viscoelastic, protect the endothelium. I like that, smart move. Looks like it's HPMC, hydroxypropyl methylcellulose, so that doesn't stay in the eye too much. So good thing you can recode if you have a little bit extra ultrasound energy, so that looks good. So now two quadrants remaining, bring up a quadrant, chop it in two smaller pieces, aspirate those down. All looks pretty good, watching carefully here. Let's see, taking out that little piece, that little goes okay. So now only one quadrant left in the bag, right? Take that down, there's the one quadrant left, okay. Show me the magic here, rotate, rotate, rotate. And there's that last quadrant coming up. Chopped again, sub-chopped, aspirate, aspirate, a little phaco, a little ultrasound, take it down. Capsule looks okay, right? Let me look carefully. And when do you notice anything? So far, so good. And now, whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening there? These last little pieces that are left. Looks like some epinuclear shell. Okay, bring that up. That looks okay. Still looking okay. Where is the capsule break? When's it going to happen? Let's look. Last little piece comes up. Chopper mushing it in the probe. And last tiny piece again, epinuclear shell. And still looks okay, right? Coming out of the eye. All right, so, so far so good. I don't see too much issue right now. I think it looks pretty reasonable. Let's speed ahead now. Let's do the cortex removal. And we know there's a capsule break. We saw it. You saw it in the, in the title slide. So there you go. Beautiful red reflex, cranking that up. Going in here now, looks like a bimanual IA setup. Infusion there in one hand. In the right hand, aspirator coming through in the left. And, oh, no, 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 no. The, the capsule's open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The capsule's open. So I don't know what happened. When did the capsule break? The posterior capsule, you see that vertical line there now. Something happened. Forgive those black flashes here. Some issue with the original video they sent to me. I don't know exactly what's happening here. But the posterior capsule is open, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. So now what? Now what are we going to do? I don't know. So take out the cortex. I like that. But you got to be careful here. Because as you keep taking on this cortex, you may start pulling on vitreous. So I don't know if the anterior hyaloid face is intact or not. If it is, you're lucky. If it's, you know, more likely it's probably going to be disrupted and you're going to have vitreous prolapse. Don't come out of the eye. Oh, coming out of the eye, that just lets the vitreous come forwards, right? I know you want to switch hands, but I would rather put viscoelastic in first to avoid having more vitreous prolapse. So in a case like this, now with the posterior capsule for sure open, you can still get a sulcus lens in, optic capture it, no problem. You'll have a good, good result. But you want to minimize the amount of vitreous prolapse here, that traction on the retina, et cetera. All that stuff has to be minimized. So taking all the, the cortex out, Again, if your machine beeps a lot, like ding, 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 that's the sign typically of occlusion with vitreous. And so now, yeah, if you come out like this, see how that opened up more? There's for sure a big tongue of vitreous coming out now. For sure, for sure. And that's why now that line came out of the central view, right? So putting more viscoelastic, but you may want to check for vitreous. Maybe put some 
triamcinolone inside the anterior chamber, see if it can stain and see where the vitreous is. But you definitely got to do an antivitrectomy in this case. You see how it went from that one line down the middle of the posterior capsule and now it's wide open? That's because vitreous pushed forwards and pushed that little capsule remnant out of the way. So I anticipate there's a big chunky tongue of vitreous now pushing through that open capsule up into the anterior segment, in the anterior chamber. And where's it going to be? It's going to come out the main incision. Oh, there you go. Antivitrector set up. Good move. I like that. But yeah, feel free to use that triamcillin. It makes life so much easier. Now, we've sped the video up. You want to do this vitrectomy on the slow side. Do not rush it. It takes time. It takes time. So now you see the capsule coming back, right? As you take that prolapse vitreous out, how that capsule strand, whatever remnants left of the posterior capsule, comes back in that central part. So when you do this, be very cautious not to damage the anterior capsule rim. You need that, right? So they can switch hands and do more vitrectomy. You need that because we want to get that optic capture done. So cleaning it up here. So I don't know. The question is, and I want your help here, when did the posterior capsule rupture or open up? It's not so easy to tell. Here's the end of the case. Lens going in. Where's our 7L rule? Leading haptic looks like number seven. There it is. Get that in the eye. Okay, just put it on top of the iris for now. You can get it dialed in if you need to later. And then there's the trailing haptic letter L. So 7L rule in effect. That looks good. Be cautious in putting this in. Don't let this lens go in the vitreous cavity. So nicely dial that into position and um, finish up the case here. So tough case here. Remember the case where you have an open caps like this and you had to do an antivitrectomy. You have a little bit higher risks. In fact, the risk of endophthalmitis is probably factor, increased by a factor of 10. The risk of cystoid macular edema by a factor of 10. So you really got to watch these patients closely in the post-op period. And so now taking out with the vitrector again, going behind the optic, looks like. Cleaning up uh, some more of that material there. And then you can come, was that in, in the anterior chamber? So yeah, at the end here, smart move to use the vitrector just to do the IA at the end, the, cor the removal of the viscoelastic, because that way if you do have any prolapse strands, uh, vitreous, you can also just aspirate at the same time. So, whoo, tough case, tough case. And again, I need your help. This surgeon needs your help. We want to know. Watch the video again. Go back, slow it down. YouTube has the ability to change the speed. It's under the settings button there on the video. You can make it in slow motion. Go back and watch it and tell me, where did that capsule break? Hmm, I don't know. So here comes the optic capture now. There's that characteristic football shape. Looks fantastic. That's American football. And now at the end of the case, seal things up. I'd put a suture in too. Leave me a note down below.